Hello friends. Well, welcome to the show. Just kidding. Um, we're going to wait for our friends to come on and then we'll get started. But I'm going to post my shopping link right here in the comments. So everything you're about to see is going to be available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. And I'm going to pin it there. And then I'm going to share this to my other pages. I have one page called Beauty by Rhea Hope. And that's kind of where I have like most of my like makeup tutorials and things like that. And then I have a page called Rhea Hope, which I think that's where most of you probably will be watching from. And that's kind of like my blog page. And then I have, of course, my like actual Facebook page, which is just called Rhea Coleman. So make sure you're following in each of those places here on Facebook. Um, I like to post different content in different places. So you never know what you're going to get. Thank you. Yeah, the concert was fun. It was good to see that band. It's been a long time. Yay. Hello, guys. Happy late Valentine's Day. I wanted to get on here yesterday and do a really fun tutorial with you guys, but it was so loud and bangy here in this construction world. Um, so I couldn't get on, but I hope you guys all had a beautiful Valentine's Day. Hello. Welcome, guys. All right, so we're just going to do kind of like my normal routine that I love to do. Um, it's super full coverage, and um, I'm going to show you another eye look using the liquid eyeshadows. I have almost done all of them except for this one and then another one, um, which I will be doing this week. But this one is going to be very everyday, very um, light. It's really, really pretty. Thanks, Paula. Welcome. Yes, I haven't been setting up my text reminders because I'm like almost out of them for the month. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with that company. I don't know. I'm like so on the fence. It's so expensive to, to use it um, or to like have it. So I'm like on the fence with it. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out another option, a cheaper option. It's like over $200 to, to have that subscription subscription service. It's crazy. It's like ridiculously overpriced. Aw, thanks. Yay. Hi, Melissa. Welcome. All right, so I'm just getting um, the rest of my things out, and then we'll get started. But I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. Long weekend for most of you, I assume. Hello from... Was that England's flag? Yes, I am in my new office, my office. <laughs> Welcome, guys. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so obviously, I just took a shower and washed my hair. I actually filmed a um, a purple shampoo and conditioner video because I get a lot of questions on how to use purple shampoo and like who should use it, how long to use it, all the things. Um, so I actually did a tutorial on that today. I pre-recorded it, so I'll be editing that and getting that up soon for you guys which I'm excited to do that. Um, but yeah, the house is coming along really well. We're starting the backyard. Um, we're building a pool back there. So the pool is officially dug um, and the pipe or they dug for like all the pipes. So that's like almost done, I think. Uh, wait till, till you stop with the company and watch all the discounted rates will offer you. I know, right? I've actually been in like communication with them for a long, like for a while because their system does not run very well and I'm always like getting glitches and things like that. And this last time I talked to them, they, I was venting about like how like upset I am that it never like runs correctly. And they basically were like, oh well, like tough basically. And I was like, tough, figure your system out. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll be looking for another service. So if anyone uses like a, a texting service in their company, let me know if you like it. I used this company before called Remind, and I think I might look into that one again. But the one I was using that I do not recommend you use is called Text Boom. Definitely don't use them. Swimming pools, movie stars. <laughs> Happy Saturday. So this is going to be like a really relaxing live I feel like I don't really have that much to share I, usually I'm like full of like deals 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 so this I thought it would just be nice to get on and chit chat with you guys and if you guys have any makeup questions or you need any recommendations or anything like that just holler them out and I would be thrilled to help you hello from Oregon awesome but of course I'll be I always teach my or I do my tutorials in like a teaching manner 
Um, but right now I'm putting on my Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Lace, which is a little bit darker for me. I guess I've gotten really white lately. <laughs> um, so I should probably use the shade Organza, but I love what I love about this foundation is it's so easy to like blend in and blend together that even if you're using like a darker color, so we're using the Liquid Touch, like I said, um, you can still blend it in and make it work. So that was like one even layer. And then now I'm going to go in with my blending bud. Um, and these are by Unique, of course. And I swear these really, really maximize the coverage. And we're just going to use this to really blend everything in. We're going kind of like a little bit lighter coverage today just because. Um, and yeah, so but blending buds are so important for getting it to look super smooth and flawless on your skin. So if you ever feel like your makeup's just not sitting right, definitely make sure that you grab the blending buds. I swear these make the biggest difference. Hooded eye tutorial. So I kind of go over hooded eyes when I do my eyeshadow. Um, Barbara, so make sure that you continue watching until we get to our eyeshadow part um, because I usually will give you guys tips, tricks, and give you guys ideas and some how-tos and stuff on, um, on hooded eyes when we get there. Blending buds change the foundation game. So true. Just on carry any color treatment hair besides purple with blends. Um, no. To answer your question, Dina, I'm like trying to think. Uh, no, not really. I mean, they have shampoos and conditioners that are made for color treated hair, which will help to maintain the integrity of your hair and also maintain the color. So if that's what you're meaning, yes. But just message me and I can give you recommendations. Always easier for you to message me because then I can um, get some links put together for you so it's easy to shop. Dana, I use liquid foundation, but I've noticed it's looking flaky on my nose. So Dana, you need more hydration. So what I would recommend for you is to take your concealer um, and mix it with your foundation. So you'll just kind of mix the two together either on your hand or right here on your hand or even on one of those little palettes if you have one um, and apply it that way. It'll be a little more full coverage and then a little bit more hydrating and then also make sure you're using the blending buds to apply. That's really, really going to help. And then rose water. Our refreshing rose water is in, what is this hair doing? <laughs> is incredible. So right now we're going to go with our concealer. We're using the shade Organza. And um, what I was saying about the rose water, if you experience like any um, like flakiness, like you're saying, or dryness or tightness within your makeup, you can use the rose water throughout your makeup routine. You don't have to use it like before or after. You can use it before, or after, during, you name it. It's literally the most hydrating, incredible product ever. It's a toner actually too, but it's really great for um, adding moisture into your skin without messing up your makeup. So definitely make sure that you pick up the rose water. Use the Kirti now. So yeah, that would be a really good option for you. Um, the Creme Brulee and the Lather, I think is what you're talking about. Um, the Lux and Indulge is actually a really great option for you too, for a shampoo and conditioner. Re do you recommend a hide under a hide or help the loose skin under eye so um you're gonna want something toning as well heather so toners are the rose water and the uology serum actually has a puffiness eye reducer booster so skincare is long story short what i would recommend for you to begin to tighten and tone your skin especially under your eyes and then in the morning um rose water before your makeup and then make sure that you are using the setting spray and the primer both of those things are going to help to kind of keep that area together and then i'll also show you this trick in like five seconds on another product that you can use yes so i do concealer on top of the foundation because one you use less concealer that way and two um think of it like when you paint a wall the first thing you do is prime right and then the next thing you do is paint so foundation and then the next thing you do is look for little touch-ups concealer and then if your face was oily or your wall was oily, then you would use like a setting powder um, to help hold everything in a place. So for me, I have oily skin. So I always take a dry blending bun. This one's from Walmart. And then I'd use my setting spray. I missed that on there because it really clings onto the setting powder nicely and applies it um, much more softly on your skin and not so like dry. So you're going to grab that setting powder and I'm using the Touch Mineral 
or I'm sorry, the, the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. There's no color to it. Anyone and everyone can use this. So this does help to tighten your under eye. However, if you do have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles under there, it can accentuate them. So it's kind of tricky. You have to use just the right amount of product. So it does take some time to figure out what that right amount is for your personal skin. For me, I can layer this sucker on there because my oily skin just absorbs into this. It's heaven. But if you have more normal skin or more dry skin, you'll want to use less product. So you could use, let's say like a fluffy brush like this, take whatever's in the cap, or I popped my cap off, but usually it comes with a little mesh plate. You can grab it like this, and then you can kind of dust it like this and kind of press underneath, and that's how you'll apply it, if that makes sense. Yes, the blending buds that I use um, for foundation are damp. This one, however, that I just had is dry. Um, ma, ma, ma. hello from Canada. Absolutely, the concealer is so good. You are so right. It is amazing. If you have like dark spots, acne scars, anything at all that you try to hide, I'm telling you, the concealer will hide it. It's so opaque. It's so incredible. And you're not limited on like you have to use it a certain way. You can mix it with your foundation. You can use it by itself. You can use it on just your eyes. Like you can use it however you want. It's so good. All right, so now someone asked about puffy under eyes, what an option for you would be. This step, I swear, has really, really, I don't know, it just makes a huge difference for my personal under eyes, so I highly recommend to give it a shot. So we're gonna use the Touch Mineral Pressed Powder. So yes, it's a pressed powder, but it's in the lightest shade in the shade Scarlet, and we're gonna use that same dry one, and we're just like tapping it in there, grabbing it on there, and we're gonna push this on our under eye. Not only does this really help to kind of set our under eye concealer, so if you were dry, you could skip the setting powder and just do this, um, but it also highlights like a ton, which is gorgeous, but I really feel like it gives this amazing appearance of a much like toner under eye. So just an option for you to give a shot um, if you are like trying so many different things and nothing's like really working for you, uh, definitely worth a try. Where'd you get your built-ins? I had them custom made. I didn't realize the concealer is hydrating. It is because it's more of an oilier, oilier, it's a hard word to say, oilier, there we go, consistency. So it's not necessarily like meant to be hydrating, but because of the consistency of it can be hydrating. Um, for wrinkles, if you are meaning skincare, message me and I can give you a recommendation. But if you're meaning makeup, the um, stick foundation is very hydrating and very full coverage, amazing for wrinkles. And then the BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer is very light on your skin, and that's amazing for wrinkles as well. So lots of options, just the best thing to do. And I always, I feel like a broken record, but I don't care. <laughs> Message me is the best thing to do. Send me a selfie facing a window. And I can give you a full recommendation. I can tell you what products to use, what order, um, depending on your preference. You don't have to do full coverage like this. If you want something more simple, more faster, um, just let me know and I can give you a recommendation. I'll tell you what products to get and in what shades. All I need is a selfie facing a window. I showed your closet office off to one of my friends. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> do you want to see the hi? Uh, yes, I do this. Awesome. All right, so now for fuller coverage and then for that really airbrushed, gorgeous finish, this guy right here is the key. So again, Mineral Touch Press Powder. So the same product that we just set our under eye with, but this is in like our true shade. This is the shade Taffeta. And we're just applying this all over. And what this does, not only does it set our makeup, set our foundation, so nothing is moving around, but it's also going to give us this most gorgeous airbrush soft finish. And I'm telling you guys, this pressed powder is like magic. Usually pressed powders are known to make you, can make you look cakey, flaky, dry, powdery. Those are all the stigmas of pressed powder, right? I know most of my customers, when I recommend powders, they're like, oh, I don't know, I'm scared. I don't wanna look flaky or cakey or powdery. Feel you, but I'm telling you, this pressed powder is so silky, soft, light. It's incredible. It's so airbrushed. And then also the setting spray is crucial when you're finishing up your makeup to take away that like makeupy look. Does the selfie need to be a clean face? It doesn't matter. As long as you're facing a window with good lighting, I don't care if you are wearing a face full of makeup or whatever, just no filter and facing a window is perfect. What time is it here? I think it's like one. 
or two. I can't remember. Yay! Hello, guys. Welcome. Thank you so much for tagging whoever. I really appreciate that. Can you send me the link to the big brush? I cannot send the link right now, but if you message me, I would be so happy to do so. All you have to do is, um, sorry, my dog's like outside and the neighbor like walked across the street. Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh yeah, message me for the link to this and I can give you, message me and I can give you the link. <laughs> can you show us each item from start to finish that you use? Um, catch it on the replay and you can watch it slower. Um, but I will give you guys the full product list if you're wanting that, um, in the comments after I got off. But basically, let's see if I can do it really fast. So wash my face, dry it off, setting spray, uh, touch glorious face primer, setting spray, foundation, <laughs> concealer, where did I put it now? I'm like putting things away. Where are you at? Setting powder. There you are. Setting powder. Mineral Touch Press Powder in Scarlet for under eyes. Then Mineral Touch Press Powder in Taffeta for all over. So that's where we are now. And then now the next step is contouring. So then Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa is what we're doing now. I have to get that setting spray. It's really, really, really amazing. And it's not like heavy and it's it's mattifying, but it's not mattifying to the point where it makes you feel tight or dry. And it's it's amazing, I'm telling you, it's so good. We also did have one for oh, um, dry skin. I'm not sure if it's still available, but it was the Luminizer one. All right, so now for contour, top of the ear to the corner of the mouth with the tapered blusher brush is crucially important for getting a really wonderful, perfect contour. So just going, uh, what is that, horizontally, and then turn the brush vertically and then go over that area like this, and it's gonna soften it up and see how it really just warms up your complexion, it really defines your cheekbones, really warms it up so you don't look so washed out, it starts to really create a beautiful bone structure. Go around the jawline to make that appearance of that shadow there. So if you're experiencing any like droopage from your cheeks, that kind of creates, the, it makes it look like it's higher up. I got the setting spray and it feels good. Yeah, it does. I swear by that pre-makeup routine too. The setting spray, primer setting spray makes such a huge difference. Hi, welcome. If you guys haven't done so yet, please click that share button in your bottom left-hand corner. It helps me out so, so much when you do. You can also um, sign up to be notified for when I go live from Facebook. I think there's three dots up here and you should be able to click on those three dots and it will notify you when I go live. I got you live. Yay. Hi, Danielle. And if you guys haven't done so yet, or if you're a quiet watcher, I want to hear from you. Make sure that you um, put a hello or a hi in the comments. If you um, have yet to message me yet to be color matched, definitely make sure you do so. I would love to give you a recommendation. Hello from Arkansas. Thank you so much for sharing. I so appreciate you, Jessica. All right. So now for nose, you're just going to squeeze the brush and then run down the sides of your nose. And like I said, we're just kind of defining our face and we're giving us this like sun-kissed glow, just warming up that complexion so it doesn't look so washed out. And if you are using like a lighter shade, a foundation, this is an easy way to make it look like it matches. Um, and yeah. Hello, Trish. Welcome. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Linda. Hi, Sue. I've been waiting to catch you live for forever. Awesome, Whitney. Welcome. Thank you for sharing, Savannah. Hi, Linda. Okay, so now that we've done our bronzer, now let's do some blush. So all my favorite blushes are out of stock right now. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> but I am kind of grateful for it because actually I love being pushed out of my comfort zone. I am like so about routine. I don't know about you guys, but I am very like, what is that? What do they call that? Type 1 or type A or whatever. I am like all about routine. I'm a little bit OCD as you can kind of tell. <laughs> um, if you guys believe in that, I don't know how to say it, but Enneagram or whatever, I'm a three. So if that, if you follow that, you're like, oh, know what type she is. So when I'm forced out of my comfort zone, I'm always reluctant, but I'm always so grateful. So that being said, I finally got this blush from Unique. They've had it forever and I've never been interested. I've been like, oh, that color is not for me. Finally grabbed it. You guys, it's like purple, but to my pleasantly surprised self, it doesn't go on purple, like shocking. Like the first time I used it, I was like, really? It's amazing. It's so good. So it's in the shade Surreal. 
okay? And we're gonna take the blusher brush and we're gonna tap that in. Key point though is to swirl into the mirror and start off slow. Especially if you're using a new product, starting off slow is always key. Smile. And then you're gonna tap this on the apple of your cheek working to the hairline, just like this. You guys, this color is so pretty on. It almost gives it this like very dusty lilac rose like feel to it. So that was just a teeny tiny bit of it and you can already begin to see that like lumination and that very subtle um like flush color. Isn't that so pretty? Oh I love it. It's so good. Isn't that gorgeous? So again this is the shade Surreal. So if you have yet to grab your kudos yet and you saw that the blushes that I usually use which is Sisterly and Supple, those are my two faves, um, are out of stock, give Surreal a try. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised like I was. It's so gorgeous. Yes, uh, Sisterly almost got that one. I was so scared. No, it's def It's so good, Whitney. I was so shocked because that was the same way. I was like, oh, okay, if I have to try this purple out blush <laughs> but look at that it does not go on purple at all it's so pretty yes right isn't that so good i know sisterly is my favorite too i will not lie that is like has my heart but this one it's coming in a close second it's really pretty right it's so soft which i love i don't like when blush is like really harsh on your skin or makes you look like you're like really pink or you feel like you're wearing clown makeup not a fan but this, I was like, wow, that looks really subtle and really nice. So, very pleasantly surprised. I did get my lips done like a week ago. Yes, sweet and stunning. Um, as far as matte blushes go, those two are my favorite. Yes, Trish, you can order as many kudos as you want. If you wanted 10 kudos, you can order them. You're just going to want to make sure that you order them right here. RayaHopeBeauty.com is like the place to order. Um, and then if you need any help or any recommendations, you can let me know. And if you don't love anything for any reason, you guys, you can always return it for your money back, which I love that about our company. Okay, so now we're adding some highlight. So I'm doing the Touch Element Luminizer in the shade Lustrious, and this is the cream which is really great if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles or like crow's feet because it won't like settle in those areas. It, it applies very beautifully. So and you're just going to apply with your finger because the warmth from your hand is going to make it very soft in your, um, it's going to kind of like melt it into the face. Yay. Hello, Janelle. Kudos Beverly is like our monthly deal. Every month it's something different. This month is really, really great because you're going to get your choice of blush you get your choice of any lip product. You get your choice of two liquid eyeshadows, two of these. And then you get your choice of foundation, whether you want the liquid, the BB Flawless, the pressed powder, the stick foundation, you can pick. So that's the upgraded uh, kudos, which is $99. And it's a really good savings, like really good. So if you have yet to grab the kudos, you have plenty of time. You have till the end of the month. Um, but I do know that a lot of colors are slowly going out of stock, hence the two blush colors that I usually use. So uh, make sure you snag them today if you haven't already because I don't want Surreal to go out of stock next. Um, what, uh, what was the lip you used for your concert night? So that was the lip liner in Prudent, the lipstick in Affluent, and then the Crush Powder Lipstick in the shade Casual. But you can message me if I like spewed that out too fast and I can write it out for you. All right, so now we're using the same product, the um, Touch Lemon Illuminizer, and this is in the powder form in the shade Lustrous. And we're just popping that on for that really, really pretty glow. And then now we're going to do our brows. So we're cruising. We're cruising along. I saw your lunch review products and ordered them. Awesome, Sydney. Thanks for ordering. I hope you did so through my link. North Dakota. Thank you. Yes, Ryan did so good. <laughs> Do you like the liquid or the stick? I personally prefer the liquid just because I have oily skin, but if you have dry skin, the stick foundation is incredible. And you'd be the same shade. Whatever shade you are in the liquid, you'd be in the stick, the spray, and the liquid. They're all the same. Um, and then the BB Flawless is on a different spectrum. Um, it's really, really, really blendable. So you, you pretty much can't mess up picking that color. Uh, but just message me if you're like nervous what color to grab because I can help you. Um, was wanting to order the cream carding, but we can find the link. Brenda, message me and I can give you the link to my Like It To Know It. I just actually uh, posted that 
saved on my Instagram as well. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do so today. Uh, my name on there is Raya Hope. And then if you go to my stories on Instagram, you can have a swipe up straight for it. I didn't send out a text today. Hello, hi Becky. Do you like the stick or the spray better? Ooh, that's a tough one. I love the spray. The spray is so good, you guys. It comes back in stock next month. But um, again, I like it because I have oily skin. And the spray is super mattifying. It's incredible. It's so good. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it again. Um, but the stick foundation is full coverage. It's very, very, very e easy to use. I'll try to use it um, this week so you guys can see how to use it. But it's so simple. It's crazy. It's like the fastest application you could possibly have. So if you have dry skin or normal skin and you're wanting something that's like so super duper fast, grab the stick foundation. Thank you. I'm going to text. Yes, I haven't sent out the text in a few times. I wish you made house calls. Oh, you're so sweet. That's why I'm live. <laughs> so I am in your house just virtually. But like I said before, just message me if you guys need any recommendations or you need help picking out product or anything. I'm so here to help. I love helping you guys pick out makeup and skincare and helping you guys feel your best, look your best. So just message me and I would be thrilled to help you. As far as much in it, I would probably say the stick foundation lasts the longest. Um, second would probably be the liquid foundation and last would be the spray foundation. Where can I find the basic white tee? I'll give you guys all the links to the outfit I'm wearing over on Instagram as soon as I get off here. So again, make sure you follow me on Insta. Uh, my name there is Raya Hope. And then you'll watch the Instagram stories for that. Aw, thanks, Brandy. Uh, are the tees in every color? Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, so I need your help. Sheila, I would love to help you. Just send me a message. Send me a message here on Facebook and I would be thrilled to help. What's the difference in the touch mineral, the touch powder and the mineral touch? So there are two pressed powders. One is going to be called the unique touch powder. And that one is going to be, in my personal opinion, a little more yellow undertoned and a little thicker of coverage, which for me, I don't like my pressed powders feeling very thick. I like them feeling very light and airy on my skin. Um, so that being said, the other one, the touch mineral pressed powder, which I use today, is neutral undertone and very light. I'll give you guys links to my t-shirt over on Instagram as soon as I get off. Okay, so for brows, as you've been seeing, I've just been kind of etching them on very easily. Um, I'm using the brow pencil in the shade medium to do this. It's by far my favorite product for doing your brows just because you get the most precise application. I'm using the shade medium. And I'm telling you guys, it's so simple. Oh, I love it. I love that it's a retractable tip so you never have to worry about sharpening it. Awesome. Hi, Megan. Welcome to the sisterhood. The sisters. Oh, you're so sweet. I love makeup. It's my happy place. I know. That's how I am, too. If I'm ever having a bad day, I'm like, I need to do my makeup. <laughs> All right. So now for eyes. Who's ready for a very beautiful, subtle, good everyday eye look? I am. All right. First, let's take off this ring so it stops slipping. And then I'm just using my eyeliner in the shade Perfect, which I love. It's creamy. It's only $15. It glides right on. It doesn't build up in your tear ducts or smudge either, which I hate when that happens. You're like, I worked so hard to get this under eye looking banging, and then my eyeliner goes and messes it up. Not today. The This guy right here is amazing. So again, that was called the Precision Eye Eyeliner Pencil. I'd like to add you and Ryan need to buy a fixer upper because you've had so much fun watching them together. I know Ryan actually is an ex aspiring fixer upper. Um, so our last house is our first house that we flipped. And then this house is our forever home, but we're like remodeling it. So um, hopefully we can continue to do so. God willing. Maybe help each other. I'm doing a party right now. I could just help. Um, okay, great. If your lace foundation, what color mineral powder? Um, so without seeing a selfie of you, Christina, I would guess that you would be the shade taffeta in the pressed powder, but send me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a recommendation. Okay, so now, um, I'm using the pressed eyeshadow in the shade Astute and we're just gonna dust this in the crease throughout the eye and this is gonna act as our like base transitional shade. 
Aw, thank you, Jean. You guys are so sweet. I'm very pale no matter how much makeup I have. I still look pale. Um, Rima, message me and I would be thrilled to give you a recommendation. I've actually had a lot of customers who have that same, I don't like to call it an issue because it's not an issue at all, but or struggle, let's call it that. Um, and I, I think that I've been able to help them very successfully. So message me. Thanks, Debbie. All right, so we're just building this color up. Again, Astute is the shade, and we're just dusting this in the crease and then throughout the eye. And I always think this little saying when I'm doing my eyeshadow really helps, especially if you have hooded eyes. You're going to go rainbow, rainbow, zigzag, and that's going to help to blend out the product. And I always kind of swirl on this outside corner and bring it in like this. I swear it makes it look so soft and so beautiful. So if you've ever like been putting on your makeup, your eyeshadow specifically, and you're like, no matter what I do, it always looks too dark. It looks too intense. It doesn't look, it looks like I got punched in the eye. I feel you. That's how I used to feel too. Until I got this brush. This is the fluffy crease brush by Unique. It's so good. And now we're going to take Gingerly and we're just going to very lightly dust that over just to create a little more depth into the eye. And same thing on this side. Do you want a picture of bare face? So bare face is best, but it really doesn't matter. You can have bare face or full face. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Hey babe, could you get Tucker? Yeah. The mailman is trying to drop the mail off and he's like scared of him. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> our mailman is literally like, terrified of Tucker. And our, if you guys don't know, we have this like tiny little French bulldog. <laughs> Uh, it's 15 minutes. Um, do you want a picture? Oh, sorry. So yes, bare face is best. Okay, so um, we're just putting gingerly all over. Okay, so that was it. And then I always keep like an empty brush handy just to sweep away any powder that fell. And then another thing that I always do is I take my blending bud, which I use for my foundation, and I always kind of bounce this off underneath my under eye, my under eye. And it's going to pick up any eyeshadow that may have fallen, and it's also going to kind of sharpen up this line. I don't like to ever make it super sharp, um, but I like it to be a little bit. A little bit. First lesson I learned. Oh, awesome. I love it. Rainbow, rainbow, zigzag. That's right. That's right. All right, so now for the star of the show, we're going to use this color right here, which is the shade Giggly in the liquid eyeshadows. And it is this really, really gorgeous pale pink. I'm always a sucker for pink eyeshadow, you guys. Um, but what I love about it is it's almost kind of like reflective. I don't want to call it metallic. I don't want to call it shimmery, glittery, anything like that, but just simply reflective. It draws the attention to the eyes without overpowering the eyeshadow. It's not going to make it look like you're wearing a ton of eyeshadow. Um, it's just so subtle and so beautiful. And these are so simple to apply. You simply just Apply from the mid to the inner to the outer, which again, I'll show you. So liquid eyeshadow. So again, I'll get close so you guys can see. So middle, inner, outer, and I'm just doing little tiny strokes. I'm not pushing, I'm not pulling. And you guys, these liquid eyeshadows are crease proof. They're smudge proof. If you have oily eyes or you have struggle with your eyeshadow smudging, not no more. If you have hooded eyes or if you have a lot of wrinkles, on your eyelids, this product is gonna be your best friend. It's so simple and just like that. And I'm using the Cream Shadow Brush by Unique to, to um, kind of like, uh, what do I wanna say, like even it out or like thin it out. And then, so again, I'm gonna do another color on top. This is shade Giggly in the liquid eyeshadows and it's gonna be available in the Kudos, K-U-D-O-S on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. You can find it there on sale. You get to pick any two you want. All right, so same thing. And then we're just going to kind of... And I'm doing very light strokes on that, just like that. And then I'm only applying this on the actual lid. I'm not blending it out, really. Just like that. The first shade was the pressed eyeshadow in the shade Astute. The next color was a shade Gingerly, and then now this is the color Giggly. The other two were pressed eyeshadows, which you can actually buy them individually. I think they're like $12 by themselves. And then, or you could buy it in the quad, which you get to pick all four colors, which is actually a better savings. 
underneath eyeshadow. You can also buy the liquid eyeshadows by themselves as well. You don't have to buy them in the kudos, but honestly, you're going to save the most money by doing so. All right, so that's Giggly on. That's so pretty. See how it just kind of like makes your eyes look brighter and like draws the attention to them. So if you struggle with your eyes feeling dull or just not like popping, this color is really, really great for kind of bringing that life back to your eyes. So again, the shade was Giggly. Um, a similar color will also be the shade Business Like. All right, so that was the top. And then what I always like to do is I like to take a darker color. So for this example, we're gonna use a shade Nonsensical. And I'm gonna take the liner shader brush, which I love this because you get two sides. And we're just gonna tap the liner side in that color. And then you're just going to drag this underneath the lower lash line. This is gonna not only make your eyes appear a lot larger, which is so crazy to me because you'd think it'd make them look smaller. <laughs> but um, it also gives it more of like a cohesive finished eye look. And then for me, I use the Esteem Lash Serum every single night before bed. And it's made my lashes grow so stinking long that whenever I use eye or a mascara on the bottom lash line, it causes smudging and it drives me insane. So what I've learned is to do this instead of mascara and it actually gives the appearance that you're wearing mascara underneath which I think is really cool. Ta -da! See how it just kind of completes the eye look? And this brush makes it so simple to do this. So again, that was the liner shader brush. Yes, this look would be in fabulous for older ladies. Absolutely. Okie dokie. My highlight looks a little blotchy. So I'll use my finger and my warmth. Just kind of massage that in, kind of push it. Much better. Okay, so now we're going to set our makeup and then we're going to do our lips and our eye, uh, our mascara. And again, the setting spray is going to take away the makeup-y look. It's going to take away the powdery look. It's going to make everything um, just sit beautifully and last all day. It's also going to help uh, keep it in place all day. So if you struggle with any transferring like on your phone or on people when you hug them, the setting spray is really going to help prevent that. So if you struggle with any of those things, definitely grab the setting spray for sure. Okay, so now for mascara, the first thing that I like to do is start with the lash primer. And this is amazing. Just like it's a crime not to prime your face, same goes for your lashes. Not only hydrates them, which helps them to grow, but it also helps them to curl. So if you have short, stuffy, little straight lashes, the lash primer is gonna be game changer for you. And you're just gonna apply it from the base of the lash all the way up, just like that. And then you can immediately go in with your mascara. So base all the way up. Go for some of yours. Yes, Ryan got them for me for Valentine's Day. Uh, I love using eyeshadow instead of liner. Yeah, me too. Love it. Twins, why do you use the spray before the rest? So the reason that I spray my face before I actually finish my makeup is because I like that I don't make my la my lashes more wet after I do my mascara. Because mascara is already kind of damp. So then when you go in with the spray afterwards, you just make your lashes even more damp. So it takes longer for them to dry, and which causes can cause them to transfer if you have long lashes like I do and they touch your brow bone, um, that's, yeah, so that's why. <laughs> yes, he did good. And then for your lashes to grow or your eyebrows, if you're struggling with any of those, the um, Esteem Lash Serum, you guys, is what you want. It's so amazing. It makes your lashes grow like weeds. And it's so inexpensive. It's only $24. It's crazy. Yeah, Melissa, give it a try. Make sure you get this brush, though. This makes it really simple. Liner, shader, brush. Okay, remember when they join someone's team who's closer in distance? No, distance does not matter at all, if anything. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't matter at all. Um, what you're going to want to do is if you are wanting to join Unique, you want to find a sponsor who's been doing this for a long time and who knows how to train you and who knows how to sell like me <laughs> so just message me and I will walk you through um you know all of the all the things we could talk about it so message me and I would be thrilled to help you and have you you don't even need to live in the same country as me I have girls on my team who live in Sweden who live in Italy who live in Canada Mexico 
Boston, New York, like we're all over the place and it does not matter. I think it's the best part of social media, honestly. Uh, yes, absolutely, Robin. Okay, so for the mascara, I'm just using the 4D mascara and you could do as many coats of this as you want. I love this because it gives you the most amazing length and volume. So good. And then the last thing I do with my lashes is I always go in with the Waterproof Epic Mascara. And I love this because not only does it make my mascara waterproof, um, but I also really like the applicator on it. It combs through the lashes really nicely. So I just comb through like this. Isn't that so nice? Oh, I love it. Okay, and then for lips, we're going to do a very, like my everyday-ish color. Um, I always get so many compliments on this color. I have a picture of me wearing this on my website, rayahopebeauty.com, and it's probably my most asked, what are you wearing on your lips? <laughs> Question ever from lip products. So first things first is the lip liner in Prudent. This is my ride or die. I use it every single day. It's so creamy. It glides right on. It's like $15. It's smudge proof. And it helps your lipstick stay in a place and can help make your lips look even more pouty. But I just kind of follow the natural line. I do have lip filler, so my line is a little bit higher than what it normally is. And then you're just going to do like this until you like the shape. Okay. And then once you like the shape, then you can go in the, with the lipstick. So in the, hi Norma, in the lipstick, um, or I'm sorry, in the kudos, you get to pick any lipstick of your choice. So I love this one. It's been one of my favorites since it launched like two years ago. This is the shade Stellar in the liquid lipstick. And it has the best holding power for just a, being an everyday lipstick. And then you want to take this all the way to the lip liner. And it's so creamy. It's matte. It glides right on, but it doesn't like peel or dry. It's like, you know, when you're wearing matte liquid lipsticks and then they dry and they're like all gross and like peely. This doesn't do that. And then I love the applicator. I love how like precise it is. See how like it's pointed. So you get like really good application. And then I always like to take my finger and I like to blend that out. It kind of just makes your lipstick look really soft when you do this. Okay. So then once you've done that, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a lip gloss in the shade Luxe and I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it over. And it's just gonna add like this really pretty like glossy finish to it. Isn't it pretty? I love it. So it's more of like a more brownie kind of mauve nude color, but there it is. Isn't that pretty? I love the eye colors you use. Thank you. My mom some so splash stays on all day. Yeah, so it's so weird. Some colors like stay on me like really, really well, and then some colors will like fade throughout the day. Um, the shades Stellar and subtle in the liquid lipsticks for some reason the formula in these colors is incredible it stays all day long and also if you are not using lip liner that can have something to do with it so make sure you're using lip liner thank you on my eyes I have on astute and gingerly in the crease and then we have the liquid eyeshadow in the shade giggly on the eyelid that's it isn't that so subtle and really pretty I love how it draws the attention to the eyes it like I don't know. It just really makes them pop. Yes, Snarky is a really pretty color too. Sublime stays all day too. Yes, totally. I agree with you, Brittany. I found the link and ordered the cardigan. Oh, yay. Good. So glad. 
Okay, so if you guys have any questions or you need any help or you need any recommendations, please don't hesitate. Message me here on Facebook. I would be thrilled to help you. Um, if you need a recommendation, all you need is a selfie facing a window. And then if you, yeah, if you guys need any help, please just let me know. Make sure that you share this tutorial to your page so you can watch it on the replay when you get your products in the mail. And then, um, yeah, invite your friends to watch or share my website with them. The best word thing is word of mouth. So I so appreciate you guys sharing my Instagram with your family and friends, your, my Facebook with them. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that if you do. And then on my lips, I'm wearing the lip liner in Prudent, the liquid lipstick in Stellar. And then we just dusted a little bit of lip gloss in the shade Lux on top. My hair color is called Platinum Blonde. <laughs> thank you. You guys are so sweet. Yes, Stellar in the liquid lipstick. And like I said, everything, all of the makeup I just used is available right here. RayaHopeBeauty.com. You're going to want to shop there. If I helped you, if I taught you, if I've color matched you, please shop from my website. It's the only way I get credit. And I so appreciate you guys doing that. Um, I do have to do my hair. I didn't decide if I was going to do it live or not. Would you guys want to watch me do it live? <laughs> Maybe I will. Maybe that's what we'll do. I'll clean up my makeup station and then I'll, I'll hop right back on and we'll do my hair. I was thinking about kind of giving it a little bit of curl. It's starting to get a little bit longer, so I think I might be able to put some curls in it. So I guess I'll hop back on and we'll do that. My eye colors are Giggly in the Liquid Eyeshadow and then Astute and Gingerly in the Crease. Um, everything's available right here, rayhopebeauty.com. I'll see you guys in just a few minutes and we'll do a little hair tutorial. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.